34 years of age, sporting a very fine beard, I must in say. On the right-hand side of your screen, in the blue shoes, Tom Stockman, just 23 years of age. I'm not sure he's uh, old enough to get a bigger beard as uh, Lauren Charlie yet. But a fantastic athlete. This is going to be some match. Over the shoulder easily for both men. And away they go. Stoltman making it look easy, as is Charlie. Ooh, that is a surprise. It looked like Tom Stoltman was struggling a little bit there, and Charlie takes the advantage. Up to five repetitions now. Remember, they've got plenty of time. Seven is the mark that they're going for to equal Aaron Page. They have to get eight to go over the top, but Charlie looking very good with 40 seconds still to go. Both sticking with the same shoulder at the moment. Tom Stockman preferring to uh, press with that left arm. Charlie with the right. Charlie is now tied with Aaron Page on eight repetitions. Stockman suffering a little bit, but Charlie would like to overhaul Page to take a clear lead in this. Just coming up to 10 seconds. Both athletes have got to put a mighty effort now. One more press from Laura Charlie will take the lead. Nope. Tom Stoltman. No, he can't make another one either. Well, that's a solid but maybe not spectacular start for both of the favourites. Whacked his head on the way down the last one. Uh, to be honest, um, I, I saw Aaron go and I know he's one of the best overhead lifters in the competition. So I attempted to get nine to beat him. Just missed out on that ninth one, whacked my head on the way down. But at the moment, it doesn't hurt, but it'll probably get a nice bruise later. But I'm very happy with that. Um, my training's not been ideal for this competition. Um, it's been almost non-existent, so and I haven't done any dumbbell training whatsoever in about a year. So quite happy to come in and get eight reps on that. It's a very hard dumbbell. It's a bit harder than normal because it's so thick. You know, the, the handle's so huge that just getting it balanced becomes very awkward. LA. If he lifts this, he puts clear daylight between himself and Aaron Page and makes it look easy. Wow. He is the consummate deadlifter. The way strides away after 425 kilos. Well, I can tell you that the rest of the field have bowed out at 425 kilos, and Laurent Charlet here attempting a new UK record of 465 kilos in an attempt to get some daylight between himself and Aaron Page. Now, this is a very big ask for Charlie. He started well. Oh, he's got to lock up those shoulders and back. It's so hard keeping the bar in motion while he's trying to do that. He almost got there, but not quite. He has one more attempt. He's lining up that bar very carefully indeed, trying to focus. Is 11 kilos set by Ken Brown of the USA back in 2008. But anything over 450 is a massive, massive lift, and Lawrence Charlie knows it. He's going to leave it. Well, that leaves him on 425 like everybody else, and he is annoyed about that. Not a happy man at all, Lawrence Charlie. You were just centimetres, maybe even millimetres away from getting that UK record, which has stood for some years. Yeah, um, you know, the, the records are great, but the first kind of priority is to try and win the competition. Um, and, and, you know, it, it's, it's such a big jump. We only did three lifts before that just to get to that, so it was kind of, you know, very, very quick to get up to that kind of weight. Um, I was close. It, it, it really wobbles. You can see how much it kind of wobbles and the flex in the bar, and it, it is difficult. And I thought about trying again, but then I would have just, I wouldn't have got it a second time and it would have just been expending energy then. Um, but a little bit frustrated because, like I said, I wanted seven or eight points from that. And with only five events, there's not a chance to really kind of stretch away from people. Um, and I, I, personally, I expected myself, Charlie and Parr to be the top three on that event. So with my battle with like Tom, he's got some good events to come now. He's a bit closer than I would have liked him to be, but... We'll get on with it and we'll get on the next event and try my best. Half points for Lawrence Charlie of England. And I think still smarting a little bit after the silver dollar deadlift. And away they
they go. 200 kilos. Well, it's not the most graceful of events, is it? 20 meters to carry this down, and Stolten keeping in touch with Charlie. That's what he'll want. Uh, Dwyer over the line, and finally Charlie Goff. Lifting this chain. Oh, that's a great start by Lawrence Charlie. He's got a good grip on this. It's almost like a combined walk and deadlift. Well, Tom Stolten looks like he's struggling a little bit, although he's got a lot more of the chain off the ground than Charlie. Well, he's come to a dead halt, Lawrence Charlie. And Stoltman has overtaken him. Oh, he's missed neck and neck. One chain drag for Stoltman, followed by another for Lawrence Charlie. Well, he's lost a shoe. That's not good. Tremendous effort that's been put in. And while he's putting that back on, Tom Stoltman can make hay while the sun shines, literally here. Well, suddenly they just come to a grinding halt. All of them. Charlie focusing himself again. Let's see if he can repeat the first drag. That's good stuff, but oh no! That's a disaster for Lawrence Charlie, and Stoltman is still inch by inch pulling away. But there must be what? Six inches in it? Oh, that's a great pull by Lawrence Charlie. Surely he's overtaken Tom Stoltman there, but it'll come back again. I have never seen anything like this in my life. This is brutal. That's almost a technique now falling over. They've had it. They've both had it. Well, that goes down to the wire. You know what? If this was the Derby or the Grand National, that would be what they call a photo finish. They're absolutely wiped out. I don't think I've ever seen an event in Strongman that has left all the athletes in such a state. They can hardly get up. Well, anybody who says they're not athletes has another thing coming. That is an extraordinary event. You could have written the script for this, couldn't you? Lawrence Charley of England, the current leader overall, really focused. He knows he's got to get a very, very quick drive and pull to beat this young Scotsman on the right-hand side of the screen there, now in front of you. Second place overall. These two have been going head to head throughout the competition. Charlet's experience, I think, uh, counting so far. Quick drive by Charlet. Oh, Stoltman resisting. Oh, that's good stuff by the youngster. He'll want to get one over on the old head of uh, Lawrence Charlet here. Oh, Charlet, I think, is suffering. It's to and fro and to and fro. It's just like the anchor carry all over again. Oh, Charlet. A drive for the line. He's not there yet. He's not there yet. He thinks he is. Stoltman can't afford to let any inches go on that rope. Oh, he's decided that he can't hang on anymore. Charlet needed that, and he loves it. That is difficult for Tom Stoltman to take. He's been very philosophical about being young, and he's got plenty of years in him. But that will be a bitter blow for the young man. The adrenaline is flowing, the tail feathers are up. Lawrence Charley wants this last two events. He wants to take this Crystal CNP trophy back home with him. He's won titles in the Ultimate Strongman World Championships. He's been a European champion, but this would be the first time he's won the UK Strongest Man, and he gets a very good start. He is shorter than Tom Stoltman. That plays to his advantage. He's doing really well. Third pole in place for Laurent Charlet. This looks brilliant for Charlet. Stoltman. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Well, it looks like he's uh, maybe torn something in that left quad. This is a disaster. This really, really could play to the hands of Tom Stoltman. Three flag poles might not be enough for Laurent Charlet, and he knows it. Stoltman really has to lift all five flag poles now, and he has to do it quickly as well, because remember, Pa O'Dwyer has already finished five. Making a little bit of heavy weather in the last one, but look at this. Super, super strength. Is this a winning lift? We'll have to wait and see, because Lawrence Charlie is looking a little bit perturbed, and I'm not surprised. It could be Tom Stoltman's day to take the overall title. He is UK Strongest Man 2017, ahead of Tom Stoltman and Pa O'Dwyer in third.
Let's hear from the champion himself. Lawrence, <laughs> the body held out just. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. Um, obviously disappointed to injure myself on the last event, but it's been a great three days. You know, I've enjoyed the competition. Uh, I put in a good solid performance on the, you know, the first four events, got me into a, a nice lead going into that. I really wanted to finish those, those flags. I, I quite, you know, it's a new event for me. I, I felt quite good on the first three. And unfortunately, just something just pinged, and I, it's so frustrating. Just to, but it's kind of manageable when you come out still on top. If I didn't win, I think I would have been devastated. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm pleased, obviously. Um, you know, these guys are awesome. The, the standard in the UK right now is so good, and it's just been you know fun competing with them, and obviously really fantastic to win. Yeah. So you've won European Championships, World Titles as well. How sweet is it? In the first time that you've actually managed to be able to enter this tournament to be UK strongest man? It's been great, you know. Um, you always want to win titles. That's why you compete, you know, to win the big titles. And in the UK, this is one of the biggest titles. Uh, you know, I've won the world title for the um, ultimate strongman, won Europe's strongest man. So my career's not been too bad. <laughs> well done, mate. Look, great congratulations once again. This was one of the toughest strongman events in the world. And the 2017 UK strongest man is Long Shaw. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe below and let's see some great comments of what you'd like to say and if you want to go to an ultimate strongman show get your tickets ultimatestrongman.tv and we'll see you there